This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Let's go forward. Trump says he's inclined to let Hillary off the hook and not have her investigated again. This has been looked at for so long. By Francesca Chambers. Trump threatened Clinton with jail time and promised to appoint a special prosecutor to look into her deleted emails. He likewise alleged that Clinton and her husband Bill used their charity for criminal enterprise. He said Tuesday that he doesn't want to hurt his general election opponent or her husband, Bill, a former U.S. president. My inclination would be, for whatever power I have on the matter, is to say let's go forward. This has been looked at for so long, ad nauseum. Morning Joe host Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski said this morning the president-elect would not have investigators look into alleged crimes. Senior Trump transition official Kellyanne Conway said Trump has a lot on his mind and things that sound like the campaign aren't among them. Rudy Giuliani, a vice chairman of Trump's transition, told reporters he didn't know anything, but I would be supportive of it. I'd also be supportive of continuing the investigation. I think the president-elect had a tough choice there, you could go either way. The White House says a new investigation is unnecessary. Clinton was cleared by the FBI. Donald Trump signaled Tuesday that he would not sick federal investigators on Hillary Clinton once he's in the White House. It's just not something that I feel very strongly about, he told the New York Times. I think it would be very very divisive for the country. Trump told the news organization's reporters and editors that he doesn't want to hurt his general election opponent, who he said had suffered enough, or her husband, Bill, a former U.S. president. He didn't rule out a future prosecution, yet said, My inclination would be, for whatever power I have on the matter, is to say let's go forward. This has been looked at for so long, ad nauseum. Trump's team teased the announcement, that is sure to shock his supporters, Tuesday morning. Kellyanne Conway, a senior official on the Republicans' presidential campaign and now his transition team, told MSNBC the president-elect has a lot on his mind and things that sound like the campaign aren't among them. I think Hillary Clinton still has to face the fact that a majority of Americans don't find her to be honest or trustworthy, but if Donald Trump can help her heal, then perhaps that's a good thing," Conway said. Trump threatened Hillary with jail time at a debate and promised to appoint a special prosecutor to look into her deleted emails. He likewise alleged that the former Secretary of State and her husband used their charity, the Clinton Foundation, for criminal enterprise. Locked her up. Became a rallying cry for Trump supporters attending his events. He told DailyMail.com in April that he'd have to request a redo in her email case. You have to take a second look, he said. It would have to be very, very fair and very, very above board. The president-elect's inner circle had doubted publicly since the election that Trump would follow through, though, and the incoming president said himself in a 60 Minutes interview that he didn't want to hurt Bill and Hillary. They're good people, he said. Trump similarly told the Times today, I don't want to hurt the Clintons, I really don't. She went through a lot and suffered greatly in many different ways. The Clinton Foundation has been said to have done some good work, he said of complaints against the nonprofit that continued to accept foreign donations while Hillary worked for the White House. Morning Joe hosts Mika Brzezinski and Joe Scarborough had reported earlier on Tuesday that the president-elect would not pursue charges against his former White House opponent for her emails or the pay-for-play schemes he accused her of on the campaign trail. A source with direct knowledge of Trump's plans shared the information, Brzezinski said on the program early Tuesday am. Trump feels Clinton has been through enough, the source told the program. Scarborough referenced Gerald Ford's pardoning of Richard Nixon at the beginning of his term for charges associated with Watergate and observed that Trump could say there are echoes of 1974. But at the same time I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of members of the Trump base that are gonna be angry that he did this, he said. The MSNBC host said, you don't want to go into a new year chasing somebody out of public life. It's just not good for the country. Trump told The Times later on Tuesday he expects his supporters will understand why he's giving Clinton a pass. I don't think they will be disappointed, he said, according to Times reporter Maggie Haberman. The White House said Tuesday afternoon that a new investigation into Clinton's email account is unnecessary. This decision was already reached, Press Secretary Josh Ernest said. Clinton has rarely been seen in public since her electoral defeat two weeks ago. A hiker spotted the Democrat near her home, walking her dogs, in Chappaqua, New York. On Sunday a bookseller posted a photograph of Clinton in Westerly, Rhode Island. Clinton was there with her husband, daughter, son-in-law and grandchildren, the woman said. Clinton delivered a speech last Wednesday in Washington, D.C., before the Children's Defense Fund, the first organization she worked at after college. Conway confirmed to Scarborough this morning, on air, that Trump would not add injury to insult and work to put Clinton behind bars. Republicans on Capitol Hill said they would spend years investigating her after the election. I think they were looking toward a Clinton administration, Brzezinski said Tuesday. Conway said she expects them to back down, too. 
I think when the president-elect, who's also the head of your party now, Joe, tells you before he's even inaugurated he doesn't wish to pursue these charges, it sends a very strong message, tone and content, to the members," Conway told Scarborough. She indicated that Trump was changing tack because he has more pressing matters to deal with. I think he's thinking of many different things as he prepares to become the president of the United States and things that sound like the campaign aren't among them," she stated. Rudy Giuliani, a vice chairman of Trump's transition, told reporters this morning as he exited Trump Tower, that he'd seen the news but had no additional information. If Trump did reach that conclusion, he said, I would be supportive of it. I'd also be supportive of continuing the investigation. I think the president-elect had a tough choice there, you could go either way, Giuliani said. If he made the choice to unite the nation, I think all those people who didn't vote against him, maybe, could take another look at him. Giuliani said Tuesday, as he's said before, there is a tradition in American politics that after you win an election, you sort of put things behind you. And if that's the decision he reached, that's perfectly consistent with sort of a historical pattern of things come up, he stated today. You say a lot of things, even some bad things might happen, and then you can sort of put it behind you in order to unite the nation. President Barack Obama could pardon Clinton himself before leaving office as added protection. The White House hasn't specifically ruled that out. Obama's spokesman said Tuesday that the current White House has gone to great lengths to avoid even the appearance of Oval Office interference in Justice Department investigations. That includes the Clinton email case, he said, encouraging the Trump administration to abide by precedent set by the Obama White House. But he also said, there was an investigation. The investigation was led by independent officials at the Department of Justice that included director of the FBI. We don't need staffers in the next White House to resolve the question about whether or not a prosecution should move forward, Ernest said during his daily briefing with reporters. This decision was already reached. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.